Attempt 2. Yeah, embarrassingly enough, this is actually the first map I needed a second attempt on. It's not even hard, I... <sighs> but, well... So... This stage is at... Hang on a second... Sorry, I just wanted to check to make sure I was actually recording, because it occurred to me I didn't remember. So, let's see how clean I can do this stage, because I don't really want to play this stage too many times. So, development-wise, this map took quite a while to design. I like the sine wave fairies. Can I pull off the... Yes! Pulled off the mid-dodge. Because these go in these kinds of cycles, you can find a spot where... Like that. It's pretty hard and impractical to do. You're better off ma uh, macro dodging it, where you just dodge around it in almost any scenario. But it's a swag strat, and I love it. So, this map took a while to design, because unlike basically everything else, I was actually trying to do some level of actual architecture. And, um, remember how I said I didn't know how to map? I still didn't have a great idea. I knew how to do relatively flat things, but... To extend the architecture so it doesn't look incredibly bad was something I didn't really know how to do. So, that's a much cleaner stage three. Oh yeah, by the way, the torches just disappear behind you, so... It's... And yeah, you jump over the torches. That's one of the secrets. I actually forgot to get the other and I'll showcase it because I am a UV maxer. So, that's two more system cards. Life Regenerator, as you can probably guess, starts regenerating your life upon its use. And Spell Amplifier, that's an interesting one. Any spell card you use while Spell Amplifier is activated is increased in effectiveness. For example, Life Regenerator regenerates twice as fast. Okay, so mid boss Suica. This is... Oh. Yeah, I don't know how wh where that fairy came from. Just absolutely nothing personnel, kid. Not that I took too much damage to it. Almost everything during this phase is aimed at you. You can utilize this too well to tap dodge. You'll see a lot more of that here. Now you s I switch to Homing Amulet, oops, because Homing Amulet can deal with the annoying stragglers that aren't dying to Magic Missile. And yeah, because it's all aimed at, aimed at you, as long as all the fairies are remaining on one side of you, it's actually pretty easy to misdirect this. And I get pretty close to the bullets. In Toho terminology, I would be grazing. A technique that exists in Toho where, uh, because in most games you actually get some manner of score for getting really close to bullets without getting hit by them. So, yeah, this stage took a, quite a while to design because I had to figure out how to kind of fake this Japanese, this fake Japanese architecture style that I didn't really know how to do. And, yeah, that brings us to the boss. So, people who know Toho 11 probably are aware of the fact that this isn't the boss that's supposed to be here. That is because uh, Yugi, the boss who, who should be here if I was following Toho 11 more faithfully, I did not have sprites for that character. And I had no way around this, so I instead swapped her out for a different character who had arguably some, some thematic connection. Suika being a good friend of Yugi's in, in canon. Of course, she's also an Oni, and you're in the city of the Oni, despite the fact she's the only one here. And as a result, well, you have been showcasing how strong you are. And it's the Oni, so... Uh, Suika demands you show your strength here and now in this boss fight. So...
So her first card is a bit of a, a kind of funny showcase where she goes big. Woo! Hello. Yeah, she leaps at you sometimes like that. And then drinks down. So yeah, Suika's attacks are very random, as you've probably noticed. They, they tend to be... They, they don't they tend to be pretty unpredictable even her non spells are okay you want to use magic napalm for this because it has a really high DP has a really high DPS because you can't hurt this card most of the time you might be tempted to just say can't I just run to the other side of the city and time it out because of the convenient timeout system well here's what happens if you try that yeah, you might notice she kind of speeds up. And she's also path noted, so you can't hide from her. And I'll demonstrate it again rather dramatically. You saw it. And by the way, she goes into mist form and chases you like this anytime you, uh... Anytime you are out of, out of line of sight. Ah, uh, you, if you get lucky, you can, I think, two cycle this, but uh, I, I was wasting time demonstrating the neat features I put into this fight. So I'm actually going to use Hecari Amulet just to give myself some distance here. And now you can see it's real power. At, even at this distance, I'm getting most of my damage because I don't have to aim. Finally, we have the last card, uh, called Night Parade of One Million Oni. This one is actually just kind of plain difficult. There is no tricks to it, it is just a lot of bullets thrown in your face. Um, a little fun fact. Spell cards have different names on different difficulties. The Ultra Mode version of this is called Night Parade of One Billion Oni, just as kind of as a joke. That was a clean run, actually. That was a good. That was a good night parade. The ultra mode version is called One Billion. And in general, all of. Oh yeah, Suika mentions Rain though. If you can remember that, that'll be important in uh, I think eight maps from now. And that's map twelve, the first map that I would say I actually had to put really serious effort into. Still doesn't look great and it definitely could be more detailed but I am happy with how this looks because fundamentally you can kind of tell what it's supposed to be and funnily enough there's a really really kind of funny shout out on this which is a uh, shout out to of all things to there was a, many years ago there was a Toho Minecraft project and I actually used it for some visual reference at places because I was like what would this look like in a more traditionally 3D environment? Because otherwise I have only spell card, I only have stage backgrounds to go off of, and those don't often project into 3D very well. With that in mind, that's, that's map 12, and I got it attempt 2.